is up, Humanoid Nation? So this is not really a Pentatonix video. It has one of the members of Pentatonix, Kevin Olusula. Sorry if I butcher his last name. So it's him in Carnegie Hall. Let's do this. Let's see this. Kevin Olusula in From the Top, live from Carnegie Hall, 2005. God damn, that was a long time ago. Let's do this. Ah, oh, I already clicked the shit. New York City. It's the showcase for the best young classical musicians in the country. From the top. Why does it have an 80s feel to it? If it's done in 2005. A dazzling rumba for the saxophone. Performed by a 17-year-old from Kentucky. He still looks the same. He still does look the same. Like words can't do. We'll visit the dramatic landscape this teenage Navajo composer calls home. She's written a wonderful piece for string quartet. And stick around to meet the youngest performer on the show. 11-year-old pianist, George Lee. He's 11? He looks 7. But hey, it must be awesome playing at Carnegie this Hall. It's fucking Carnegie Hall. The top live from Carnegie Hall is provided by Liberty Mutual. Foundation funding is provided by the Bernard Osher Foundation, the Jack Kent Cook Foundation, Helen Man, Bing, and the National The taping Foundation of this is like so 80s style, and it's in 2005. Oh no, it's not the 80s. Look, there was a laptop on the piano there. I think it was a laptop or some device. Not from the 80s. Welcome to the show, everyone. Nathan Connor. We've learned in doing this show week after week that kids who excel in music come from all types of backgrounds, all types of geographic locations, rural, urban, and all income levels as well. So it's quite the slice of Americana. Tonight we begin our American journey with the great sounds of the saxophone. Please welcome from Owensboro, Kentucky, 17-year-old saxophonist Kevin Olushula. Olushula, that's how you say his name. Kevin never ages, I swear to God, he still looks the same years later. Future Pentatonics member. Sounds like a good New York welcome. Yeah, definitely, I like this. This is kind of He does have that 17 feel to him. Ah, oh, sir, I like this very much. I'm so sorry. Well, we're going to be playing uh, Maurice Whitney's Rumba. All right, step to the piano and we'll rumba. Take it from the top. La Rumba. Sax man, he's a sax man. Skill, fucking skill. Hell, the only instrument I ever played was trombone. And I forgot how to play because it, it was a stupid thing to do. No, it was a stupid instrument. No offense to trombone players, I just didn't like trombone. But I had to pick something in band. Everything else was picked and I had to pick trombone. Band class in school, a long time ago. I don't know why we had a band class, we just did. Canada. We have fucked up shit. Skill. Very skillful. Very skill. What? Skillful. I think they only seen one video of him in Pentatonics where he plays the saxophone. But there could be more. Not sure. Now, amazing as it may seem, the saxophone is not your only instrument. Mm -hmm. um, no, so I also played the cello. I started that when I was about six years old, and the saxophone I've been doing since I was 10, and so those 
Well, Sue and Spirits have been taking me on a pretty wild ride, and I, I absolutely enjoy it. An accomplished player of two great instruments. You received a huge honor back in Kentucky. Uh, because you're so good at both instruments? Was it because of the music? Well, uh, let me just uh, explain it. So um, there is a program in Kentucky called the Governor's School for the Arts. And basically, they take the best young artists in Kentucky for drama, for writing, for music, all different art forms. And we get to learn and study these different art forms. And it's, it's quite amazing. I love it to death. And um, at the end of the program, I got um, the award. It's uh, the director's award for being the best young artist in Kentucky. So. And Gordon Godham, future member of Pentatonics. Also, you're good at school, real academic, real scholar. You moved from Kentucky to attend one of the most challenging high schools. I mean, just to push yourself, just yeah. for fun? Yeah. Um, well, I decided uh, after my sophomore year I was going to transfer to Transfer High Schools, and so I transferred to Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts. That's tough, though, right? <laughs> I mean, was it a big adjustment? I mean, you wanted to, you wanted to challenge yourself. Yeah. But was it easy for you? Phillips Academy is a very intense school. I, if I could explain it, what it was crazy hard. The first term, I was very, I was very flustered. But eventually, I had a great support system, and it really got me rolling. And I mean, I did well there. So, so Andover's been great. Uh, and so now, where are you going to go off to college? Where have you been accepted? Uh, so I've been accepted at Yale. So man, how many questions does this guy have? That is impressive, but there were a couple of other places you were accepted at too, right? Uh, yeah, so um, I was Yale and um, also Stanford, Princeton, and Brown. Also. Damn! <laughs> Great. Okay, that's it. Stop everything. Sound the alarm. Kevin, Even he's thinking, like, what the fuck, dude? Super alarm. <laughs> We pull it whenever a kid on this show is so, so together and so accomplished that the rest of America feels just inadequate. <laughs> You're a classic overachiever, and what do we make overachievers do on our show? Make them do something really stupid? Yeah, he knows, he knows. Well, in your case, your punishment is stupid, but I have to admit, it's, it's kind of cool, too. You see, folks, Kevin has yet another talent. Why don't you explain? Beatboxing. Oh. <laughs> Well, okay, um, KO is my, is my initials, Kevin and Lucia, and a lot of kids will say I'm a knockout because I like to beatbox, and uh, this one, uh, a hobby of mine, and it's been, it's been a lot of fun, I mean, back at old high, my old high school, people would love to, like, do rap battles and stuff, and they're like, hey, Kevin, yo, get the beat going so you can, like, you know, do a rap battle, something like that, so yeah. it's been a lot of fun. All right, so, Kevin, here is your overachiever challenge. I don't think we're going to have you beatbox something cool like 50 Cent or Diddy or... No chance of that, I'm afraid. But instead of 50 Cent, do you know it? Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Da, 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 da. Uh, huh. Let me hold the horn, man. Come on. Hold on, we just... You gotta do it. You gotta do it, Kevin. I... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. Wait, are you... Tough love, man. Tough love. <laughs> All right, okay, so... Okay. Um... <laughs> Still got it. Well, this is the past. He never lost it. So fucking slick, man. So fucking slick. I'd like to say we all feel better now and less inadequate, but I feel even worse than I started out. <laughs> you've, got, you've got it all going on. Kevin just killed it all. Anyway, Kevin, great playing with you again. Damn it, Kevin. <laughs> you have to make everybody look bad. But you're awesome still. Man, Kevin, man, he's like all in one package, man. The guy can do anything. Now we need to see if any of these videos have the rest of the members of Pentatonix. Scott, Mitch, Avi, hope I'm saying that right. Because people have been saying I've been saying it wrong. I just say it how I see it. Avi, 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 I don't know. And of course, Kristen, Kirsten, Kristen. One of the three, because I don't know which one anymore. <laughs> I seriously don't. But yeah, Kevin did an amazing job in this thing. Just too amazing. The guy is like the triple fret, man. He's just a triple fret. 
Anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Vivir así.